I have been doing rhythmic gymnastics for many years. For those who aren't familiar with what rhythmic gymnastics is, it's a sport where gymnasts perform on the floor with an apparatus. This sport also combines body difficulties, performance skills, and sadly, your appearance. One of the stressful problems I and other gymnasts face was controlling our weight and what we eat. Because people say it feels more comfortable and right watching someone thin and fit perform than someone who is not. Because of this, our coaches started comparing us with gymnasts who are way underweight and telling us we would never be as good as them. To make us aware of what we look like, our coaches started making us weigh ourselves. After weighing ourselves in front of our coaches and getting shouted at for being overweight, we will have to write our weights on the mirror for everyone to see. Our coaches hoped that by doing this, it would motivate us to lose weight. Because of feeling embarrassed about my weight, I would avoid eating on Saturdays before having to weigh myself. I found that very depressing not being able to eat for a whole entire day just because of the fear of my weight. Because of constantly getting compared with a lot of people, athletes struggle with body image. The most common body image disorder is called body dysmorphic disorder or BDD. According to NHS, National Health Service, BDD is a mental condition where a person spends a lot of time worrying about flaws in their appearances. People of any age can have BDD, including males and females, but the average age is between 12 to 25 years old. When I researched this topic, I found out that body image issues tend to be more complicated and conflicted for athletes. Both athletes and non-athletes have the same risk factors to body image such as family, environment, peers, and social media. But athletes also have risk factors unique to their sport. The McAllen Eating Disorder Center states that athletes have two body images, one in their sport and one outside of their sport. Most athletes deal with wanting to be fit in their sport but also wanting to keep up with the trend. And it makes athletes really confused about what they want to look like and it causes a lot of stress just by wanting to look good in everyone's perspective. Even though most body image pressure comes from coaches in their sport, research says that pressure from teammates comparing with each other may be greater. ESPN surveyed more than 200 female athletes on body image and confidence, and the results showed that even the women who have great physical shape don't feel good about themselves. 68% of athletes say that they are pressured to feel pretty. Being pretty helps us in a lot of ways, said a softball player in their survey. People talk to you more, notice you more, therefore you get a better chance at getting a well-paid job. 14% of the athletes stated that they have an eating disorder. When we see these female athletes, we see them as fit and healthy, but they actually view themselves as too muscular and not feminine enough. 20% of athletes also get called fat by their coaches during practice, and it makes them self-conscious around both their coaches and their teammates, which can affect their relationship with their team. Throughout my years of being on a rhythmic team, I have seen a lot of gymnasts quit because of the pressure given by their coach. Another main factor of body image is social media. Have you ever wondered how the images you see of other people could be affecting your perspective of yourself? Well, with social media being something many people use nowadays, a lot of information is passed through social media, but not just information, thoughts, ideas, and other opinions are also spread across social media. According to the U.S. Research Center, 14% of U.S. adults say that they have changed their minds on political or social issues because of something they saw on social media. A lot of social media posts present unrealistic beauty standards that are sometimes photoshopped celebrities. This means it will be kind of hard to look like them because, well, the photos of them are not even real. Lily Hartman, who is an American actress, wrote in her book The Following, I have been working hard to feel good in my body. It's an everyday battle, and to see our bodies getting distorted in the editing process is a perfect example of the obstacles we have yet to overcome. Even the celebrities themselves admit that their photos aren't real, and it hurts seeing themselves not being good enough. It is a good thing to want to be better than others, but there are some things we can't always control, and what we look like is one of them. Everyone is special in their own way, and we don't need to be like someone else to be good enough. I've learned to look at body image issues positively and not let other people's opinions change my perspective of myself. Because thinking negatively about ourselves is not worth our time or energy. Thank you.